we are compromising the internal homeostasis of the body and that it, the immune system will actually be inhibited by the more threats we perceive in the outer world. This is why illness is associated with stress. The more stress we're under, the body is going to allocate its energy resources for fight or flight to escape the threat. I say, yeah, but we need these energy resources. For example, the immune system, which uses a lot of energy, needs these resources to maintain health in the body. Additionally, stress causes another problem as well. We're made out of 50 trillion cells, but every day hundreds of billions of our cells are dying normal attrition. Skin cells are sloughing off, hair cells are coming off. The entire lining of the digestive tract is replaced every three days. Now, what does this mean? This is massive amount of growth that is required every day. The stem cells have to replace hundreds of billions of cells. That's growth. But if you're being chased by a saber-toothed tiger and you're going to try to allocate all the energy you need, not only do you shut off the immune system, which uses a lot of energy, but by definition, you shut off maintenance of the body because that uses a lot of energy as well. So the consequence of having a stressor in our world, it actually shuts off two of the two fundamental things that keep us healthy and alive, the immune system and the normal growth and maintenance of the body because the energy for those are redirected to protect us from the threat. So the more stress a person is under, the more the body starts to lose the power of its control. If I'm not replacing the dying cells, <laughs> there's a point where then a system is going to be faulty because it's lost a lot of the cells that make it work. If I'm not taking care of the immune system, then I'm open to infection. Uh, and it's interesting because people think that, oh, I just got under stress and then I caught a disease or I caught an infection. Uh, I really want people to understand this. Almost everybody out there is already affected with almost all the normal pathogens that a human can have. The point about it is simply this. If you're living in health and harmony, your immune system will restrict the growth of these organisms and will stay healthy. But the moment you start to get under stress and you inhibit the function of the immune system, these organisms, which have a name called opportunistic organisms, will take the opportunity when the immune system is compromised to take over. So this is why uh, people at work that get stressed or students at a school around exam time, as stresses start to manifest, they start to get sick. And the reason for that is stress shuts down the growth mechanisms and engages protection mechanisms. Uh, and they're mutually exclusive. You can't be in growth and in protection at the same time. So the more fear we hold in our lives, the more we redirect our biology into protection at the expense of growth. <laughs>